everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ontario Vintage Tractor. Uh, it's your first time tuning in. My name is Rick and today we are going to go through your fluid checks on your Alice Chalmers WD and WD45 tractors uh, right through from the coolant, engine oil, oil bath, air cleaner, hydraulics, transmission and final drives. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so for your first check, we're gonna check the engine coolant. Uh, if you're in a warm temperature, a lot of people just use water. Here in Canada, we use antifreeze as it gets quite cold. That's located in the top of the rad right up here. So to do that, you don't wanna open these when they're hot. Yeah, it's real dangerous to cause a mess. So we'll pull the cap off. Look down, yeah, it's level with the top of the rad. We know we have lots. The next check we're gonna do is the engine oil itself. That's located on a dipstick just near the oil filter housing on the side. The engine's been shut off for a while, so the level will be accurate. It's a little low, we're gonna have to go ahead and top that up. The next check we're gonna do is the oil bath air cleaner. It gets a little messy, you might want gloves. Pop this little securing latch out. And on the side here, there is an indentation where your level should be. You want to service this daily. So that's good. We just did top this up the other day and we had it out. We haven't done any work since, so that's still good. The next one we're going to check is the hydraulic fluid followed by transmission rear end, and then the final drives. So I'll get the camera repositioned so you can see it and show you where they are. I'll try and get this camera positioned right so you can see it right down here. That's your hydraulic check. You wanna check that with the arms in the air, which mine are right now. That's the lift arms on the back, by the way. Then you've got a low and a high with rams extended. Our level is good. So again, that's your hydraulic oil. The next one is the transmission itself, which is located, is really hard to see on this one and really hard to get to. Um, that's on the, that's our return to tank line that we put on if you watched our last video when we put the remotes on. The plug for the transmission is in behind it, as well as the rear end is down here. So let's see if we can get this plug out of here. I've already loosened them ahead of time. So, like I said, this one's located under this hose that I've put in here. And it is indeed full. Okay, so the other plug is located just behind the clutch pedal. And that one's for the rear end slash transmission. And it is quite full as well. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is check the oil in the final drives, which is right here. There's a half inch plug on either side. We'll get that out and see if there's anything in it. If we need to top it up, I have the, have everything here to do it. That one is right there. It's on my finger, so no top-up needed on this side. And we'll go to the other side. And that one should be loose already. And it's starting to drip out, so all the fluid levels in this are good. The transmission is uh, not great, so we'll change that now that we know that. And uh, go from there. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Ontario Vintage Tractor. 
Uh, we are very few weeks away from the first hay cut of the season. Thanks for tuning in. If you could hit that subscribe button down in the bottom, it really helped the channel grow. And until next time, take care.